The Teens Through College program started in January of 2009. We had a lot of programs within Husky Sport and we worked with all of the kids at the greenhouse, but when the kids got to the age when they were in high school, we really didn't have a program that formally addressed their needs. So in January, the Husky Sport staff decided that we were going to have a program that welcomed just the high school age kids at the greenhouse to stay after and enjoy a family style meal and just start to talk about college or aspirations after high school and a, really a plan for when they graduated high school. I think this program is going to help me be prepared for college in four years because the people who run the program are in college. They know a lot about what they're doing and that's what they're basically telling us when they come to talk to us. The last two years, Teen Still College has helped me with my college process as far as getting my essay done, making sure my financial aid package was together. And then as a freshman in college, they helped me with the transition, make sure I, I know where I'm supposed to be at, make sure I meet new people. I was struggling in the beginning, in the beginning of college, MCC. I go to MCC Community College. Um, I was really struggling. I couldn't really adapt to the college, like from high school to college. And they really helped me. They taught me how to organize, communicate better, ask more questions, you know, use my time wisely. And I feel like it improved me a lot. The typical day at a Teens Through College meeting consists of the staff and the kids collaborating during a study hall hour, which is a really nice time for us to connect with the kids on more of a one-on-one -on -one basis, see how they're doing in school, ask them some questions, or help them with any homework or projects that they may have. And then after that, we have a little bit of time for usually some physical activity right before dinner. Um, the favorite game, of course, is basketball, and sometimes we go and play in the backyard, but we also try to expose the kids to other sports. Then we usually have dinner, and we emphasize some nutritional component of the meal, whether it be meats or proteins or dairy, and we have a short lesson on that, and then we enjoy a meal all together. Um, after that, we typically bring in a guest speaker or we'll hold a workshop for the kids and different topics of the workshops have been financial aid or maybe we'll have someone come in and speak about their experience at college or we have some team building activities and different life skill lessons that we do with the kids. Having the guest speakers has helped out a lot because you get different perspectives on like people's view on how they take things. Like we had this one guy who he didn't go like the traditional route to college, but he made it, succeeded in things, and that helped out a lot of kids. We've been fortunate enough to go on a lot of trips with the teens through college program, and it's been a lot of fun. We've come to UConn um, numerous times. We've also been able to go to Boston and visit a couple colleges there. Um, we just recently went and visited Harvard University, which was really fun. We also went to the Boston Science Center that day. Other colleges that we've been to have been Trinity College, we've been to um, Central Connecticut State University, we've been to the University of Hartford, we've been to Eastern, and we've been to Manchester Community College. And then aside from doing college trips, we've also done some other field trips such as the ropes course at UConn. And one of the events that we were really excited about this past semester is the kids went on different jobs job shadows, which they seemed to have a lot of fun at. We paired the kids up with an adult who had a career that interests the child or the student, and they got to spend the day with them, and they seemed to have a really good time. We had kids that were at ESPN for the day. We had some that were at UConn following um, the athletic trainer and the athletic counselor for the men's basketball team during their final four run, which the kids really had a lot of fun with. Um, we also had some kids that got to go to a hospital, as well as the Connecticut Department of Public Health. Before I went to the job shadowing, I, I was really, I really didn't know what I wanted to be or do when I went, get older. But when I got there, it just kind of popped up. I wanted to do something like with science and all that, so I kind of wanted to be a crime scene investigator. If it wasn't for the program, I felt like I would have never chose to go to college because growing up, my goal was always to finish high school. That was the top. Like, high school was college to me. Like, it was just to finish it. And when I, when the program finally got to me, it just, it like, kind of told me, like, I could do more than that, and college will help me do it. So they started helping me, helping me with my homework, teaching me new things with college, and I felt like there was a big improvement in my life when they came. Teaching through college has helped me a lot. I probably would have been in college, but 
the transition and process probably would have been harder for me. The goal that I hope to get out of the program is just to really expose the kids to as many different opportunities in while they're in high school and also after they graduate high school as possible. I really think that um, when working with anybody, you never know where their niche is going to be or where what they're going to get excited about. So my goal is really just to provide as many opportunities and as many activities for the kids so somewhere in all of the activities that we're doing with them they'll find something that really interests and excites them and makes them want to keep learning and want to do well in school or want to go to college and really be passionate about something.